and welcome to another episode of Tribunal of the Grid, where we talk about all things Power Rangers, including the actors that play them. My name is Brandon. I am Lena. And I'm Will. And today, 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 we have a very, very exciting episode. Now, first of all, um, we have some fantastic news that we want to share with you. You know, we, we have some great news that we want to share, something that we are very excited about. But before we get to that, we also want to tell you what is going to be going down on this episode. Um, we will be talking about Ranger things, and we will also be talking about the newest Dino Fury trailer. And also, you know, the <laughs> pictures that you know popped up on the on the interwebs um also we'll be talking about some other news that is also in power ranger fandom but first before we get into any of this stuff lena i i heard word on the street a little birdie told me you being that birdie um i heard that there is some tea there is some news that has that that is that is you know going on with tribunal of the grid what 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 is that news girl please tell us so just so you guys all know, I literally just told my two lovely co-hosts literally minutes before we even started recording this, we are now officially, officially a real podcast, according to do some article, but officially a real podcast on Apple Podcasts. So you guys can actually find us through Woo-hoo! our name, Woo-hoo! you know, we made right? it, we made it, we did. It took us so long, I'm, but you know what? I'm thankful for the length of time it took for us to get there because we did a lot of growth, a lot of developing, and just, you know, just a lot. And it is what it is. I don't care what people say. I'm proud of my journey. I'm proud of our journey. So you know what? Everyone else can suck it. <laughs> just say. <saying. laughs> wow. <laughs> our link to our Apple podcast is actually in our... Uh, tree link that's always in our Instagram that's everywhere that you can find us all of our links is always attached has uh, obviously all of our personal Instagrams all of our podcasts so would be on officially Apple Podcasts Spotify SoundCloud and YouTube so no it does not change where you have been previously listening to us of course of course it will help us out greatly greatly and we appreciate it if you could go ahead subscribe to our new um podcast on or not new podcast but subscribe to our podcast on apple give us a rating please give us a review and that would greatly help us out with this podcast and show us you know to bring us farther than where we are already and but you know what though but you know what though i will take a moment i just want to thank you you guys for constantly being there for us the last year, the beginning of this year, the interaction that we've been getting online, the positivity that you guys have been giving us, like it's what gives us the motive to continue to, to keep giving you guys an episode week after week, to keep coming up with content for you guys week after week. So thank you so much. Please subscribe, please rate, and please leave a review. That is and true. also too, and also with Apple Podcasts as well, just to keep us like on like some of the top listening podcasts, you know, at least keep us in the running. You know what I'm saying? Like it's best that you rate us five stars, you know, just be nice. You know what I'm saying? Be nice and kind. You know what I'm saying? And rate us five stars because that actually will get, that actually will help us, mm-hmm. you know, be rated very well on Apple Podcasts as well. Mm-hmm. So Make sure you three. hit them five stars. Ain't no four. We ain't no three. We ain't no two. We certainly ain't no one. I no. mean, we some bad bitches on here. So we definitely deserve five stars. So, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And to be fair, we can, mm-hmm, and to be fair, we been giving you guys some sample already. If you guys have been following us, you already know. So you already know you what know. you're expecting. So don't you lie, know. okay? Give us a five star. You know what's up. So you know. that's what we're saying. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and go ahead and spot us five. And, you know, we good. We good. We're going to keep bringing you this content. We're going to keep giving you all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because we love y'all. So, you know, keep to, yeah. go ahead and give us them five stars. Go ahead. We appreciate you. 
but just for the record, though, just for the record, even if you don't care, we're still going to give you that. I mean, this is true. This is very true. (laughs) (laughs) We still going to keep on doing it. So it really just doesn't matter. Uh (laughs) I guess speaking of podcasts, Lita, what podcast are you in? This is a terrible segue, but you just don't have to take it. (laughs) (laughs) This is true. But speaking of podcasts, if you guys haven't heard, we mentioned this last week. We're going to mention this again. Nikita and Catherine from Power Rangers Playback has decided to come up with their own podcast call, Super Chat. And Super Chat is just not your regular Power Ranger podcast. It's essentially going to be about them, Catherine and Nikita, who they are, what they do on a day-to-day basis, them as actress, them as mom, them as... I guess whatever it is that they want to be, they will be chatting about it. And you know what? I also heard they're doing a giveaway. If you go ahead and give them a five star and a rating, you will automatically be entered for this giveaway. I have no idea what the giveaway is yet, but I'm sure they'll tell you. And they're doing this. I've entered. You need to enter. Why not? You know? And then don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and give us a five star rating too, please. Just saying. Hello. You just made another third boy. Right. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. I did that one. Yes. And the second podcast that I actually want to bring up that I thought was like, wow, this is new. This is awesome. This is amazing. I can't wait for it. I'm not a mommy, but you know what? It can't hurt to learn while you're young. So they say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Serena. <laughs> Serena Vincent, y'all remember her as Maya, the yellow Lost Galaxy Power Ranger, is teaming up with a doctor. Although I'm beginning to think that he's fake because his name is Dr. Gator. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she t- <laughs> she's teaming up with a doctor named Dr. Gator to give you guys a podcast called Raising amazing mm. i see what they did there smart so essentially it's a celebrity and a doctor combined to give you tips on how to raise your kid or how not to raise your kid i don't know i guess whichever way you want to look at it totally up to you <laughs> if you guys have not seen firefly lane yet y'all need to because brandon j mclaren is in it mm-hmm. And he plays this guy named Travis. He's in about six episodes. We mentioned this, I think, a few episodes ago. However, let me tell you, I decided to watch it because of Brendan. I was left speechless, wanting more. I binge the whole season. I want to say in one sitting, but that's not true. I did it in two sitting. It is amazing. It is about a friendship about these two girls. And it was a 30-year friendship. It's just so much, um, so much ups and down with them. But what's great is that it's a great storytelling. It, I, the, uh, it's amazing. I don't know how else to explain it to you. I, all I have to say is just watch it. It is now currently rating number one in Canada on Netflix. I'm not sure what it is in the state, but it is a must watch. Highly recommend it. Do yourself that solid. Grab yourself some popcorn, some chips, whatever it is. And a lot of napkins. Because I promise you, you're going to be crying, crying, because that was me. And then get ready for the biggest cliffhanger of them all, because it's going to come. I don't even know what's happening, and I'm pissed now. I have to wait for season two. I don't know when that's going to happen. But yes, Firefly Lane, definitely highly recommend it. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. The next movie I want to discuss is Shadow in the Cloud. It is a 2020 action horror film that stars chloe mortz i hope i say her name right if not oops hit girl if uh anybody yeah remembers right i mean she she was adorable she still got that anyways moving on i'm sidetracking here (laughs) um well the reason why i want to mention this movie because you're all probably thinking i've seen that movie i've heard that movie but there's no ranger in it what y'all talking about y'all crazy no man you're crazy Sorry, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Anyways, Tom Hurt, um, the guy, you may know him from Power Rangers, Donald Thunder. He's one, uh, one and two of the Cassidy and Devin duel. 
he and James Snapper own a company called Four Nights Film. And collectively, that company helped produce this film, which is why we're mentioning it because he's one of the producers, which I thought was really freaking cool because this film ended up winning like a shit ton of awards over the weekend and all that cool stuff. And yeah, if you guys did not know, Tom Hurt and James Snapper are like BFFs and they have a whole company together called Four Nights Film. You guys can actually follow them on Instagram if you want to. All the links are in our, you know, Insta as well too. So definitely go find them there. Who would have thought that, you know, in COVID-19, some of us would be thriving and like achieving and doing all that greatness. Well, Michelle actually wrote a book called Times Like These on grief, hope, and remarkable love. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. That (laughs) Uh, That's a very COVID-19 book there. But yes, definitely go check it out. From what I understand, it's currently only available in New Zealand, but I'm sure we'll be able to find a copy of it elsewhere in the world. You knew. That's how. Definitely. Right. And then. I remember, uh, remind everybody, that's, um, that was Cat Minx and SPD. Thank you. Um, mm-hmm. And last, there's a show called Harold, which is about a detective who does things interestingly. He likes to solve case and do all kinds of stuff. I guess he's like Sherlock Holmes, but the Australian version and a doctor. Mm-hmm. It is an Australian show. It is available in most Australia, New Zealand. But the reason why we're mentioning it is because... Miriamma. And who is she again, guys? Oh, she was uh, Elsa, the badass Elsa from Dino Thunder. Yo, I just realized something. Power just Dino Thunder cast be thriving. Right. 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 So she's in season three, guys. She's in season three. That's coming out soon. She'll be playing a woman named Renee Warrington. Um, She's only going to be in eight episodes. So I've never actually seen the show myself. I was really shocked when I learned about it. I'm definitely going to check it out. I highly recommend you guys check it out because I'm into the whole mystery crime and true crime stuff, even though it's not real true crime, but I guess low key in the fictional world, that is true crime for them. (laughs) But whatever, you get where I'm going with this. Go ahead on Ranger Thanks. Now, we're going to go ahead and get on to in this news because um, news be newsing. And there's a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> so, wow, that was a great segue. <laughs> ha, ha. I try. Pat myself on the back. Boop, boop. Uh, <laughs> so, first of all, before we even start, right? So... Hasbro went ahead and they bust out these cute little costumes or whatever. You know, the costumes have basically hit the shelves. Uh, well, they hit the, not the shelves, but they hit the, inter- the internet. They hit Al Gore's internet. And um, <laughs> and we already see, you know, pictures popped up of the Dino Fury costumes. We see uh, red, blue, and pink I want to say red, blue, and pink. They popped up, um, which were super cute. Um, they also popped up some other cute little costumes from a different season. Can you guess what that season was? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It has dinosaurs in it. <laughs> wow. Mighty Morphin, obviously. Uh, well, I don't know. Are you sure? Can we have a gas? I'm totally fucking with you. I mean, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shoot. Sometimes, so, sometimes this show acts like Dino Thunder didn't even exist. So, I mean, right. yeah. you know yeah. what? I'm glad that we just started with Ranger Things on <laughs> Dino Thunder. Like, yes, we gave them that highlight. Yes. Okay, give Dino Thunder its things, okay? Give them their things because clearly this show acts as if they don't exist. So give them their love Um, because they are the better season. But anyway, um, (laughs) so... (laughs) um, But yes, we we are referring to Mighty Morphin uh, and they they have a picture of uh, this cute little boy with his little triceratops, you know... Halloween so costume. It is so adorable. It's so 
<laughs> yeah, like it's so cool because he actually um he can uh he got into the position of the actual triceratops dinosaur. Right. I'm like, this is so cute. Now, of course, you know, people are like dragging it on the on on uh, Cicely Tyson's internet. And I'm just sitting here like, come on, y'all. Like, I'm gonna need for y'all to stop. Like, can y'all this please stop? Clearly children's um children's costume. So seriously, it's a child's costume. Like, it's not that deep, y'all. Like, <laughs> I mean, do do we not remember um Saban been pipping out them costumes since we were kids? Like, I'm pretty sure all of us uh-huh. had out them the thin little Power Ranger costumes and all of us warm as a kid. Like I don't understand why so many people were dragging this. I think it's adorable. I actually think it's cute. I'm I like think it's adorable too. It's so we second that. Like Third I, that. I want one. <laughs> I want one too. I need to find a big dog so I can put the dog in it. Oh my gosh, that would be so that would actually be adorable. I mean, you're tiny. I will figure you would be able to fit in it. I mean, well, I'm not that tiny. Wow. <laughs> wow, they, Will. I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> the, the skinny talk. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I have no comments to that. <laughs> that is rude. But uh <laughs> but, but uh <laughs> and they also have a Mighty Morphin Megazord costume as well, Dino Megazord. Which? And that one is inflatable. I feel like I need to punch because that thing looks like it's punchable. It does. It does look punchable. I... And I'm like, I kind of want to just blow it up just to like let it sit in my room. Like oh, not that's... actually like <laughs> put creepy. it in something. I mean, that is really creepy, <laughs> but like, I feel like it needs to be done. Like, I feel like it really needs to be done. Like Wait, just like blow it up and just like sit it like right next to the door. Wait, just so I can like freak myself out. I wonder how like it feels wearing that costume blown up. I don't, I feel like it would be really sweaty. Right? I feel like it would just be a really bad idea to like, especially if you're going to put clothes on and then put it on. It's just like, oh, that is a recipe for disaster. Come out smelling like corn chips and Cheetos. That is not cute. Uh, I instantly thought about um, uh, Misty Elliott in her first uh, her first ever video. Come on, I can't stand the rain when you're wearing a trash bag. Yeah. Looking crazy. <laughs> but I feel like that's kind of how this would be though. Cause it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how that I don't know how that would work. I mean, personally, like I said, I just feel like you would just blow it up and then just sit it in your room. That's what I would do. I would sit it like right next to my door and cut the lights off and scare myself. <laughs> but um that, <laughs> cause I mean, listen, like it has horns like a devil. So I mean, if I didn't uh-huh. realize that it was there. Yeah. You know, I would totally freak myself out. But you know what? But, anyway. <laughs> but you know, what I just realized you want to creep yourself out even more because it'll look like a devil child. It's That's cute. what I'm saying. <laughs> and you're tall, so I can only see. Oh my god! Oh, but you're really fuck yourself over this. <laughs> I would probably piss myself. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'd be like, oh my god, why? Uh, uh, what? Is <laughs> 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 ah! So uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, just this is not okay. This is uh, this is not okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and in our next bit of news, Icon Heroes. Now, Icon Heroes, um, they specialize in like you know, cute little action figures, vin- vinyl figures, vinyl, vinyl, vinyl figures. Ooh, child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I completely understand. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that is not how that word is pronounced. Um, <laughs> vinyl figures, statues, mini busts, enamel pins, and patches, and bobbleheads, and more. Um, so they specialize in that. They are also teaming up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Who would have thought? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> look at Power Rangers <laughs> getting all the nostalgia. This deal. is so surprising for me. I did not know. 
I would have had no idea they would have went to Mighty Morphin. <laughs> wow. Mighty freaking Morphin. <laughs> but this is um, to kind of to piggyback off of what we're talking about. You know, they have a deal with Super 7. So this is another deal with a company that, you know, is promoting the Nostalgia Act. So Power Rangers is now a Nostalgia Act with a lot of other pretty big properties. So this is another opportunity to get eyes back on Power Rangers. Um, Of course, it's Mighty Morphin, which, like we said before, is annoying, but it makes sense. But it's it's pretty cool that they're getting um, more exposure. I think. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like I mean, I'm, I'm I, I say it facetiously, like oh my god, it's my morphin. I mean, we all know it's gonna be my morphin. But mm-hmm. you know, it it actually is really cool um, that you know, like you said, the the show is actually getting like visibility like people are actually starting to be like okay there's a market for this let's actually start you know putting our putting money into this and actually starting to make it make it a thing you know Mm -hmm. um so i'm i'm actually excited for it i'm actually very excited for it and just looking at some of the um some of the things that they do i'm like those things actually look really good like Mm -hmm. i'm not even gonna lie to you like those figures actually look really good so i'm Personally, I'm actually excited about it. I'm actually yeah. excited. It should be pretty cool to see what they, um, what everything is going to look like and what they decide to put in the line. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Hopefully we find out sooner rather than later. Right, right. Because I'm like, uh, go ahead and give us this information because <laughs> all they got is just a little picture Oh, yeah. you know, the Mighty Morphin logo and it's like coming soon. And it's like, no, come on. We, you, you know, you can't do that to us. You know, you can't do that to us, especially not this fandom. This fandom mm-hmm. does not like to be teased on anything. We like stuff right in our faces right away. You can't be on some like, you know, you can't be on some like, nah, you know, we just going to hold out. Not with this fandom. You got to you got to bring it because people will forget or they will get it very, very upset. Uh, <laughs> which reminds me of exactly our next topic. <laughs> so, y'all, earlier this past week, you know, Power Rangers decided they were going to go ahead and release some, you know, some little, some little pictures. You know what I'm saying? Some pictures popped up all over, you know, all over Beyonce's internet. And uh, one day we just happened to, you know, wake up. As a matter of fact, that was six days ago, um, according to this day's episode, where, uh, you know, that was, I want to say that was February 1st, actually. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, quick math there. I'm terrible at math, actually, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can do simple math. But uh, February 1st, we got some, we got some little pictures. It was like for on the East Coast for me. When I woke up, it was like 8 a.m. So I'm pretty sure it was probably like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for you guys on the, on the East Coast. Um, mm-hmm. I'm on the West Coast, by the way. But anyway, so I woke up to some very interesting news. And I saw that Power Rangers, had the official Hasbro page, had went ahead and posted some brand new information about Dino Fury. They went ahead and updated their, their website and basically have uh, posted up this, this badass like um, drawing of the five Rangers. And under it has a brand new team, good old Dino Power, how's that for a change? Mm, I, there's... So much that to dissect with that, uh, but I'm not going to <laughs> because I'm like that's not a change because we've already had dinos for like three times already. <laughs> so clearly this is our fourth time. That's not a change, but okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> but yeah. Um, so they did that, and um, and to go further, they also went ahead and they gave us the synopsis for the brand new season. Power Rangers Dino Fury, when an army of powerful alien beings is released, 
So actually, um, this is grammatically incorrect. When an army of powerful alien beings are unleashed, not it. is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm an English major. Sorry. On on Earth, threatening life as we know it. A brand new team of Power Rangers fueled by the prehistoric power of the dinosaurs are recruited to deal with the threat. Wow. Ooh, that was that was a damn good mouth pop. Ooh, that was good. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then they went ahead and they went into breaking down the Rangers' bios. Now, let's see how much this is going to stick in the actual TV show. Zeta oh, <laughs> is an alien from the planet Rathcon. He, he has been on Earth since the time of the dinosaurs, frozen in status, stasis. Oh, okay. After he is revived, he leads the Dino Fury Power Rangers in hopes of stopping the evil forces that destroyed his planet from the, that destroyed his planet from destroying Earth. His Zord is the T-Rex Champion Zord. Now, a little bit before this, so well, not well, a little information, you know, tying into this. So basically, a lot of fans thought that when they found out that Red was going to be an alien, a lot of people assumed that he would be from Eltar, mainly because he they claimed that he kind of looks like Zordon. I don't see it. I think y'all are just being really silly because you see a dude <laughs> with a fade and was just like, oh, he's an alien. Oh, he just, I guarantee you he got a low fade, kind of like a ball fade. Oh, yeah, he's going to be just like Zordon. No, he stop. looks like Zordon. Stop wow. it. Stop wow. it right now. He is not Eltarian. Stop it. Stop oh it God. right now. I, people... <laughs> I saw that and I was like, Wow. Literally. Wait a minute. Wait, you or hated people. Like they, you know, I don't know. Wait right. a minute. I can't oh God. Now I'm looking at his face and I'm like, okay, I can kind of see David Feld. Shut and up. Now if wow. you don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> You know, doggone well, that does not look like no damn David Felden. No, no, well, we're don't stopping do this. Today. We're stopping. Do today. not do this. <laughs> do not do this. I was like, y'all can't be for real. You can't be for real. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. I was like, oh my God. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. But, you know, as soon as people heard that he was going to be an alien, First thing people thought about, oh my God, he's Eltarian. No, he's not. Um, I mean, I, I, I had a feeling that he wasn't going to be Eltarian. But I mean, Power Rangers isn't that type of show to make those kind of connections. They, they weren't going to do that in the game with us. Um, so I was just like, okay, cool. So he's from Ralph Khan. That's real cute. Um, and he has a little T-Rex Champions Award and stuff. So, I mean, and they have him, you know, being kind of like a coda, from my understanding. I think they're going to treat him like a coda. W- but not like so much where he's like speaking in broken English. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to make him speak broken English. Because that would not. be terrible. I would hope not, because that's terrible. I agree. I would hope not. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have the most lines. Like, I'm sorry, I do not want to hear someone speaking in broken English the entire That's what I was thinking, actually. I don't think that's going to happen. Not even just that, but he wasn't even speaking caveman broken English. He was just speaking straight up, I can't speak English, broken English. That always made me feel uncomfortable. Right? At first, yeah, because, of course, it kind of peeled into the whole, like, Asian can't speak English stereotype. Yeah. Like, ooh, ee, oh God. Yeah. Ooh, that's bad. But then I was like, hey, but he's doing it so well. And Yoshi's so cute. And I'm just like, well, he's so know, adorable well, when he plays he it. A, so I'm just like, hmm. in a while towards the end, he lost it though. It just start, he just started pausing in between words. I honestly, mm. and I think to be truthfully honest, I think that was more so of a character thing. Because uh, if you oh, do don't look, for that. Yeah, because I, I think I think it's more of a character thing because I, I think I feel like also, too, the more he got, the more he started talking and the more stuff he had to say, his sentences actually started to make sense. Mm-hmm. So I do kind of think that it wasn't so much of like, I mean, this is just coming, this was just what I think, but I think it's, it was probably more directorial. So it was like, mm-hmm. okay, you can actually start sort of kind of starting to make sense of your sentences now. Like, you don't have to keep sounding like you can't speak English. Like, you can kind of make it a little more, easy, like a little more 
cohesive. Per- yeah. So, I mean, I think that was, that's what I think. That's what I think. But I mean, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he did break it. And it was just like, I'm not doing this anymore because I feel dumb or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's kind of what I thought. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of that's cool. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that's Zato. And uh, he's, and of course, we know he is being played by Russell Curry. And now we have the Blue Ranger. His name, he, now, first of all, I want y'all to know, they got full names. Full what? names, y'all. They have full names? First and Wait, last this names. Wait, this ain't nothing new, though. But Didn't how, the last how many, team have it? But how many times we used them? The, the same last name? The same last names? No, I'm saying, like, how many times we used the last names? Like, when, oh, how many like, times did they like say Oh, like, during them? the, like, during yeah. the show. Because you, you might as well say, like, um, other than Devin and Ravi, because mm-hmm. we knew Commander Shaw, and obviously that's his mom, so we knew his name mm-hmm. was Ravi Shaw. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I how mean, many times we got to not the, use them that much here, names. either. I mean, I imagine so, but it's just, I just think it's fun that, that we actually got these last names. And plus, too, even, in, even on the official stuff, I really haven't ever really seen their last names, either. Okay. I mean, we know their okay. last names, but on official stuff, we don't that's really fair. see them. So it's like, this is interesting that they're actually focusing on the fact that they have last names. And it's like, oh, cute. I like it. Um, but yeah. Uh, so his name is Ali Akana, which is actually akin to his actual real ethnicity. But his real, you know, yeah, his real nationality. Sorry. Very good. Which is Hawaiian. I was like, oh. That was nice of them. <laughs> that was nice of them to notice. Now, how much of that is actually going to go into the show? I wonder. Mm. But, you know, because <laughs> I guarantee you nine times out of ten, they are not going to touch any of his Hawaiian roots. But anyway, um, so yeah, Ali Akana. Ali is a confident, logical skeptic who's never afraid to share his opinion and always needs to prove he's right. Growing up, he traveled the globe with his archaeologist mom, Dr. Akana. Ali does not, doesn't believe that, he, that there's anything that can't be proven or explained by science. Hmm. Sounds like he could be unlikable. <laughs> I was going to say he's one of those. And, oh, damn. <laughs> and another, another thing. I've, this sounds familiar, like maybe like Noah. Mhm, mhm. That's that's um, that was literally mm-hmm. the character I got when I read mm-hmm. it. I was like, and another thing, a mom. He has a mom. Yes, and she's Power actually going to play a huge part of the first episode, which that's I exciting. I think. So this is actually going to be very interesting. Yes, bring on the parents. We like the, the mothers, parents. right? <laughs> Stranger <laughs> mothers. Parents. We never. Like, well, we you see know. dads. We see dads, but I feel like but we don't see him. moms that much. We don't. We and don't. and like since Mighty Morphin, like where well, we actually got to see all the kids' moms except for Billy's and Tommy's. Um, well, Tommy doesn't matter. I mean, not yeah, like that, he, but I mean, he's, he's adopted. adopted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Tommy doesn't matter. Uh, that sounds bad. He does matter. <laughs> but like after that we didn't really see moms like that last season last season was crazy we had two mothers two mothers three mothers because yeah. we met nates yeah oh yeah that's right even though his parents are trash but yes yeah. Yeah. she dropped them off <laughs> he just dropped them so dropped his ass off and said bagger and disappeared terrible <laughs> terrible parents Ugh. Reminds me of a certain parent that I'm not going to talk about from Turbo. Anyway, so oh. his Zord is <laughs> his Zord is the Tricera Blade Zord. Now we're going to move on to the Pink Ranger. Amelia Jones. Come on, Jones. Love that name. I love that name too. I, I love that name. It sounds like it would grow to a black girl though, but like oh. still. Yeah. 
pleased to be your queen. What if she was a black girl? Wow. Oh my God. Okay. A sister with a, with a natural crown. Oh my God. Oh, that would have been so that would have cool. been so cool. Oh, oh my God. But of course, no, we got no Hunter. offense, Hunter. Right. We got Hunter, and Hunter's a badass from what we see. So I mean, I'm excited for her. Um, but her synopsis, her character bio is a go-getting journalist with a passion for the paranormal. I like her already. Oh my God, Amelia, I love her already. <laughs> Amelia works at the internet media in agency, Buzz Blast. Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed one? Buzzfeed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, Buzzfeed. Real, okay, n- real quick, real quick for you on. Um, Hunter has a real love for horror films. I wonder that's why they wrote it. Oh, wow. real love for horror films. When she first landed in New Zealand, she had nothing to do because she was quarantined for 14 days. She literally posts on social being like, yo, give me your suggestions. And I'm not going to lie. She's seen more horror films than I have because some of them were too creepy for me to see. <laughs> but she was all oh, like, no. I'm like, okay, girl, you love them horror films. So now it makes me wonder if they actually wrote that in because <gasps> what if all these characters are actually because like okay sorry we went for 2.5 seconds she even mentioned that hunter is no sorry that amelia is really close to who she really is in real life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean i'm pretty sure they probably did do that i'm pretty sure be because so they, i mean they definitely did that for, for the mighty morphin characters like the mighty right. morphin characters were literally them that's true right. so i can while. see that something like that too yeah mm-hmm. So that's that's actually very interesting that they that they decided to keep that and actually work with that. That's actually kind of cool. Huh? Hey, interesting. I'm sorry, so sorry for the interruption, but yeah, I wanted to add that before we moved on. Oh no, 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 because that's actually really cool. I'm glad you did that. Um, she's well known in Pine Ridge as the person you come to if anything quote unquote weird happens kind of yeah, reminds you of Caitlyn from VR Trooper that's exactly oh, what I was going to say I was going to wait <laughs> till the end but that's exactly what I was thinking kind of from VR Troopers hmm interesting and you know what and another thing they better do a horror episode for her or, or you know, well, as horror her. as they can yeah well, I mean Halloween episodes come on you know I, was, I was thinking that, but like, give her something else too. Like, she should have more than one. I agree. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, but you already know they're probably going to focus on her definitely for the um for the Halloween episode for sure. They're mm-hmm. probably going to focus on her. I mean, look at her character bio. That's really cool. <laughs> like... That's really cool though to think that that um that could be that could potentially be like a focus episode for her. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So this is actually very exciting. Very her exciting. Her enthusiasm seeps into everything she does, much to the amusement of her friends and coworkers. Her Zord is the Ankylo Hammer Zord. It's so cute. I like the Zord. I don't care. It's cute. <laughs> so cute. I love it. It's so cute. I don't care. I like it. No, it is, it is actually really cute. It is a really cute Zord. The next person is the Black Ranger. Javier Garcia, aka Javi. I mean, that sounds like someone I would have an affair with. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> plays by Chance Perez. Javi is a free spirited musician, <clears throat> just like his actor, (laughs) who can be quiet at times, focusing his energy on his creative process and artistic endeavors. Though he loves music, he can't settle on any one style or instrument. His stepsister, Izzy, stepsister, not sister, stepsister, Izzy, is his biggest supporter and and the most important person in his life. His Zord is the Stego Spike Zord. Now, so why you put that emphasis on step? You think they're going to date? Oh my God, no. Okay. No. <laughs> Some not. Brady Bunch stuff. Oh my God, no. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'll never do that. Well, I mean, this is also the same show that literally was like, uh, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and break up Calvin and Haley and try to make 
Calvin date her best friend Sarah? Mm-hmm. I Same mean, show. this is true. <laughs> this is true. I wouldn't put it past them to make them do something like that. But no, the reason why <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I said that is because um, originally when we first heard about Izzy and Javi being siblings, they just said they were brother and sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the fact that okay. they've corrected it and said now they're step brother and sister, I find that very interesting because I think honestly they look like actual brother and sister more than how um, Chance and the previous girl did. Now I can believe that Chance mm. and the previous girl would be step brother and sister, but honestly right. Tessa and Chance they kind of look like they would be related. Mm-hmm. They they do. they actually kind of look do, like real exactly. siblings. Especially when they smile. They do. It's weird. Yeah. When they smile, they actually look like oh. they could they could be related. They do. They really do. Well, something that stuck out to me about um Chance's character um was his style. Um I That's love like, I love his clothes. I love his whole the outfit. Whole. The only thing that's bothering me is that shirt around his waist. Like, I mean, decide what you want to do. Uh, that's like, like a that. thing, though. That's the uh, thing, though. I feel like a couple of years ago, more so. But the um, the flannel around the waist, he wears the leather jackets. He does the uh, the skinny jeans with the, uh, Yo, the patchwork in there. The Doc Martens. Right? I love the it. The choker. Love it. The little dangly earring. You better go ahead. I, I love his style. I'm telling you, man. He looks like he's from a boy band. <clears throat> or, or he's a rocker. <laughs> no, boy he band. Was. <laughs> he was totally in a boy band. <laughs> right? One Direction or something. Like, one of those. Like, oh, Adam yeah, Chance was a part of a Malik. boy band in real life. Right? Wait, uh, he is? Yes! Was. Ah! He was. Or was, was. He was. <laughs> there you go. See, he dead ass looks like he's still from a boy band. <laughs> He, he's giving me Zayn Malik vibes from. He uh, does. From... I was just gonna say Doesn't that. Doesn't he? Oh, he does. Doesn't I'm he? You, someone I'm having an affair with. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still be high key singing his little piece of song, Strawberry. That song oh. is cute. Tastes Wait. like strawberry. Oh, but ow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's my uh, little uh, piece uh, of song i was like come on chance you better sing you better sing to us mm-hmm. well he's releasing but, a single soon apparently yes yes and of course you know we also did hear some news earlier earlier uh, i want to say it was it last year well mm-hmm. late last year yeah, late that last he year. wanted to do some music on the show so you yeah. know hopefully he was and able it, to yeah and it looks like um Yet again, it's a character that's built around the actor since he's mm-hmm. into music. That's really cool. Yeah. So hopefully yeah, they let good. him. Yeah. Hopefully they um, let him sing on there and have yeah. like some sort of original music. He's so yeah. cool. I love him. I, I love him already. He's like one of my favorite ones so far. And lastly, we have Izzy Garcia, played by Tessa Rao. Izzy is a highly competitive and ambitious athlete. She pushes herself to the limits and never gives up, even when the stress is overwhelming. She's close with her stepbrother, Javi. Her Zord is the Tiger Claw Zord. Now, first of all, I am super excited because I, first of all, have, you, have y'all been like actually paying attention to her on social media? She is so adorable. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> She is. So I really like her style. I love her. Everything. Everything. Like her and um um Chance and you know, like his family. Like, I love how much they hang out together. It's ridiculous. They're so cute. They're so cute. And like it was so funny that like uh I want to say like maybe like a couple of months ago, uh, people thought that her birthday was com- her, that her birthday was coming up. And somebody had created a whole birthday thing for her and everything. And she was like, um, so today is not actually my birthday. <laughs> my birthday isn't coming for a couple of months. But do you think I should go ahead and celebrate my birthday? Like, no, or should I wait? And then, like, she asked, I think, her mom or her sister. And it was somebody that she asked. And they were like, no, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> and she was what? like, okay, sorry, I tried. It was so cute. 
Fun I fact: to laugh. Her Go birthday ahead. is coming out. Well, her birthday is the day of the release of the first episode of Power yeah. Rangers: Dino Fury. Yes. Yes. Oh, you just totally cool. stole my thunder, but I mean okay. it's all good. <laughs> but no, nah, like yes, her birthday is actually the day of the show, so that is actually really excited. That is really exciting for her, and she's going to celebrate her birthday on the actual premiere day. That's actually badass. That's a nice birthday present. It really is, Bye. especially with the whole Rocky situation of like her becoming green and you know, and she's actually like the premiere episode is actually going to be her birthday. So she has to get to celebrate it. Like that's actually really, that's really cool. Right. That's really cool. Love. Love. So yeah. And also too, um, what I also wanted to uh, mention is that also on her live. Now I will say this. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, I just love like her personality in general. Like I've honestly, I've liked her since I saw her, um, since I posted her, her reel back when she was announced. Um, mm-hmm. And I just love her personality and her energy. And that kind of was like, she's an actress, actress, like she acts. Okay. <laughs> so that kind of gets me excited for her and what she's going to do in the show. So hopefully she re- does have some great character beats and some great things to do with her character. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things though that I am kind of a little hesitant of is the pressure. And what I mean by the pressure is she's playing an iconic quote a quote unquote iconic dinosaur belonging to a certain person. Hmm. And already people are already starting to compare her to Tweet. Stop, y'all. Really? It's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, it's, it's not, not, not it, yeah, I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it's not fair. It's really wow. not fair. People um, need to stop doing stuff like that. That's not cool at all. It's not. Period. It's not. And my thing is it's like because she was actually she was doing a live, my live. Um, she was asking questions about. Um, she, she she asked the fans, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, stunt training and stuff like that. You know, you can you know, in, you can chat me here, and then I'll you know put them on my um I put them on my stories and all that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. So she did that, and one person not asking her anything about stunts, but went straight to, well, you know, if you know, um. You know, if if Twee was around, like, what do you think she'd say if you were, you know, you know, if she's the, the young ranger and she, you're a saber tooth tiger, you both were saber tooth tiger, like, you know, how would what would you think she would say to you? How the hell would she like, know? How did she answer that? How does she know? She doesn't know her. What the hell? No, I'm curious. What did no, she, she say? Okay, so her answer, beautiful answer. She was just like, you know, I I wouldn't know because I don't. I don't know her and she's no longer here, but you know, I'm just gonna just do my best and you know, hope that it all turns out well, which I think is a brilliant answer because you can't answer that's a that. Brilliant answer. There's no way you can answer something like that. And that's and why do people ask- and that's what oh, I mean by it. like I'm- and, and I, I've been seeing a lot of people doing a lot of comparisons and stuff, being like, oh, she's gonna be a saber tooth tiger. Some of the, most of for the most part have been pretty positive, but then you sometimes get those some some of those people who are like, oh, she'll never be as good as tweet. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. <laughs> you like, know, just like, she's no. she's not tweet. She's not meant to be tweet. No, not at all. Like, if you wanted to compare Becky G to tweet. Fine, half at it because she did play Twinny. So half at it, but her? Really? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just one of those uh. things. I was like, oh, we're doing this. Are we are we doing this? Like, first of all, she doesn't even know who she doesn't even know who this person is. Nine times out of ten, like to be truthfully honest, I don't know how old Tessa is, but to be truthfully honest, more than likely she seems like she's a pretty young girl. So I, I, I wouldn't put it past her to have not even been born or have or was probably extremely young, like I mean infant age when Mighty Morphin came out. Yeah. And not I, to she, mention that yeah. she is a New Zealander and the show only got up to like Mighty Morphin, like you know, like Mighty Morphin season two, season three, or something like that before New Zealand banned it for being too violent. So, yeah. you know, she probably didn't even really get to even see 
much of Power Rangers, more or less Mighty Morphin. Agree. And it's like, mm. you know, you expect her to know who this person is. It's just like, mm. come on. Like, I mean, I know that I know she probably knows who they who she is now, obviously, because of you know, she's doing the show. So they probably made her, mm. you know, do some research. But still, it's like it's not fair to ask people questions about people who are dead. It's not <sighs> fair. It's not fair. And I, I I know you probably mean well. You know, I know you probably are like, you know, or she's not. playing this character. So, you know, I, I you know, I, I I feel like this is a fair question. It's not a fair question. It's not a fair question. I mean, it's it's literally like you're asking, you're literally asking her to put words in her mouth about somebody who can't speak for themselves because they're no longer here. That's not fair. That's not fair to her, and it's not fair to tweet her, and it's not fair to tweet. You know, so yeah. I personally feel like fans should refrain themselves from asking anybody questions about Twee, you know, because it's like... <laughs> I mean, at least know, if you're going to ask, ask somebody that actually worked with her and knew exactly. her. Exactly. That was literally what I was going to say. It's like, unless it was somebody who, you know, who worked with her, not, you know, just asking a complete random person, hey, you're a Save 2 Tiger Ranger too. What do you think Twee would feel about that? <laughs> like, come on. Like, she doesn't know. She doesn't even know Twee. So it's like, she don't know. You know, so it's just like, uh, fans are, y'all, y'all starting to be weird. Chill out. Um, starting? Starting to be weird. Mm. I said it facetiously. <laughs> 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 I said it facetiously. Um, but yeah, so, you know, just be mindful. Be mindful, you know, just, you know, be mindful. That's all I'm going to say to that. Um, but yeah. So she's going to be the new Green Ranger. Yeah. Now, um, and the, real quick, real quick. Um, since she's, um, her character is athletic, I actually, I'm not sure if, um, if Tessa is athletic in real life. Do you, do you have any idea? Um, I actually don't. I don't. Um, I want to say she, she did say that she did stage combat and that was it. Yeah. She's um, active, but. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I'm wondering, like, with um, as soon as well, while you were reading um her bio, I was thinking, like, okay, so are we going to see her or are we going to see a stunt woman just flipping it up? Probably. <laughs> like, Ethan, like Ethan and Dino Thunder. <laughs> okay. And you know what? Do it. Do it. Which also is going to bring me to my next point. Actually, thank you, Will. Great segue. So speaking of Dino Thunder. A certain person is coming back to the show as a stunt coordinator. What? Steve oh. McQuillan, who used to work on Power Rangers, Ninja Storm, all the way to Power Rangers Jungle Fury, and also worked on Wendy Who, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior, which if you've seen that movie oh, with I Brenda like Song, that. you know that movie was badass. If, if you've seen that movie, you know, with Brenda Song, if you've seen it. Um... He he is actually he used to work second um he used to work as an assistant stunt coordinator of you know of course to Koichi and all the people. Now he is actually going to be one of the main stunt coordinators of Power Rangers Dino Fury. So we can expect probably some pretty damn good choreography. <laughs> in this show so that actually excited me greatly i was like oh, this is going to be amazing <laughs> so i think honestly when you said that will about somebody doing a whole bunch of flips for her i think that's mm -hmm. probably going to happen i think it's going to happen <laughs> um and i think it's going to happen actually for all of them like we're probably going to get like dino thunder spd level fight scenes again even after the the stuff that the actors did in um beast morphers you think i mean i do think they're probably going to have the actors do a lot of their own stunts too i mean obviously because you know hunter is pretty damn good herself right like right. the girl is like you know she's like she looks like a stunt woman with her fighting mm -hmm. skills so mm -hmm. i mean i'm pretty sure she could probably do a lot but of course then also too if we're talking about you know disney level stunt choreography there is no way they would put her the actress 
and be like, all right, do these level stuff. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to do that because that's dangerous. Um, but, you know, I, I do think they're probably going to have them do a lot of their stunts. And even Tessa did say she did some um, some stunt choreography, some um, some stage combat. But she was like, for the for the more hardcore stuff, she's like, no, I'm not doing it. So yeah. I'm like, that's real. That is real. Um, but yeah. So I, I, I honestly do believe that they're probably going to have, it's probably going to be that level. Um, well, I'm hoping it is anyway. I'm hoping. Um, mm-hmm. some, so, so some more news that popped up. They also introduced the Dino Fury villains. So the main villain is going to be called Void Knight. Void Knight is an armored alien warlord who crashed on Earth many years ago. He is intent on using the power of the supercharged Sporix for his own personal benefit now we don't know what sporks is <laughs> right but we can imagine <laughs> that sporks is probably a bad thing <laughs> or it could be it could be a good thing but he would just wants to use it for bad purposes mm, good point it could be like the lights of orion right right or the quasar mm. savers interesting mm. Maybe, maybe. Why do you look and like Korag? He does he look exactly like Korag. Like exactly what I thought too. <laughs> oh my god! His design is giving very Korag, and I love it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I actually love it. But um, but yeah, yeah. He's he's a little he's a little knight. Um, which actually a lot of fans instantly as soon as they saw his name, some of them felt like it confirmed that the show would be about knights. Oh no. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. The only reason why they use the name Void Knight is because he looks like a knight. That's mm-hmm. literally why. Mm-hmm. But I promise you, this show is not gonna be about knights. Like I'm almost like 100 percent positive. Like they're not gonna make this show about knights. I, I highly doubt it. Um, but I mean, hey, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I I think I'm right on this. (laughs) The next villain is called Boom Tower. Not much to see here. Void Knight's monster (laughs) general, a brutal fighter. (laughs) Oh, dang. That's it. Wow. Literally like that. That's it. That's literally it. So So either he's going to be like really boring or he could be amazing. No, I, I, I'm going to go with the he's going to be boring part and also <laughs> think that he's going to die probably within the, within the first maybe four episodes. He's probably going to die. You think so? Really? I think they're going to kill him off early. Why would they even, like, why would they even profile him if he was I, going that quickly? I mean, honestly, I think they are mainly because they used that, that fight scene they used on the, on the promo clip. That fight scene actually is the same episode where he dies mm-hmm. on, the, on the Sentai. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking they're probably going to kill him off early. Now, he does come back later on in the series. Like, he does mm-hmm. pop up again. But, I mean, shortly after, he dies again. So, I mean, it's not <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm thinking so he's like not they're... a recurring character like that. I'm thinking they're going to use more... Um... Uh, more non-Sentai footage this year, especially because Green is a woman. I mean, they could. I mean, th- th- and that's very true. That's a very good point that you bring up. They they very well might end up making him, you know, a very important, um, a very important villain. However, I just think that because there's nothing about him, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think they're planning on using him that much. Uh, but hmm. I mean, like you said, they could, they might make him an, make him an Eclipter because, you know, hmm. in the Japanese version, Eclipter does die and then he comes back again. So, mm-hmm. you know, they very well might do that. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so not much to see here, but um, that's, <laughs> these are the villains. Now, then they went ahead and they gave us the Zords. Now, y'all, <laughs> quick little story, story time. So the day that this information came out, right? Of course, I, you know, as many of you know, um, I do a lot of the, the photo editing and stuff for, for a lot of the pictures and stuff that goes on our page. 
I found this information and I was like, oh my God, like this is so cool. So as I'm editing everything and putting it on our page, I realized whoever posted this stuff on Hasbro <laughs> on the page, on the official page, whoever posted it there accidentally swapped black and pink Zord pictures over their information. Mm. So in actuality, oh, it had the Anklo Hammer Zord with the Black Ranger Zord in the description and the Stego Spike Zord with the Pink Ranger Zord in the description. Now, I'm like, y'all could have easily just looked at the picture and looked at the words and noticed that you see, you have a Black Ranger in the paragraph, but you have the Pink Ranger Zord sitting here. I'm like, somebody, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But I thought that was comical. I'm like, wow, guys, you guys are really dropping the ball today. <laughs> so I just thought that was really funny. It was very funny to me. And not to mention, there's some other things that happened that day that I'm also going to bring up, but later on. Uh, but yes, going back to the Zord stuff, T-Rex champion Zord. The T-Rex champion Zord belongs to the Red Ranger and is mirrored after a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It also has an upright battle mode. Mm. Tricera Blade Zord. The Tricera Blade Zord belongs to the Blue Ranger and is mirrored after the Triceratops. The Anklo Hammer Zord. The Anklo Hammer Zord belonging to the Pink Ranger and is mirrored after Anklosaurus. Stego Spike Zord. The Stego Spike Zord belongs to the Black Ranger and is mirrored after a Stegosaurus. And the Tiger Claw Zord. The Tiger Claw Zord belongs to the Green Ranger and is mirrored after a Saber Tooth Tiger, the only one that is not actually a dinosaur. So, all right. Mm. <laughs> we have that down. Now, then we got some pictures of the actual Dino Fury cast. Now, you guys touched on the outfits a little bit um, mm. beforehand. But overall, like, what is it given? Like, what, what do y'all like? What do y'all like? What do you dislike? Oh. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go started. through these photos. Let, let's, let's, let's just let's let's have a chat. Started. So, I don't really like the way Blue looks because I feel like he's got that. I don't even know what's up with his hair. It looks so flat. That's me. And he's always dressing like he's ready for winter or fall or rainy day. <laughs> like, I, I know he told me once, I was like, yeah. so like a style or whatever. Right. I, I see know. a lot of young dudes dressing like this. The, the, um, oh my goodness, what kind of pants are those again? Joggers. The joggers, joggers the sneakers, the hoodie. Like, that's comfortable. I have never seen anyone dress like that. I. My nephews dress like that. They're teenagers. I, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with them, but... <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Lena. Tell oh, us how you really wow. feel. <laughs> she said, your nephews have no style. <laughs> <laughs> she said, they are terrible. They are terrible, your honor. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't know. Like, going back to the blue, I, I'm not feeling his outfit. I just, you know what? I think his outfit would have been fine had he had his hair not been as flat. Because I noticed he really mm. purposely tried to, like, flatten his hair and give him that, like, mm. mopey look. Doesn't go with the rest of his outfit. I think if his hair is his normal hair, like, you know how he normally has it? Like, in uh, real life, what's his name? Um, as Kai would have. Is that his name in real life? Kai, mm-hmm. Yeah, if Kai would ha- like, if if they had all these hair the way Kai would have it, I think I'd be fine with that. I think honestly, that- like, Bring honestly, it gives me very much. Um, I think his hair hair gives me very much. Um, Preston from Ninja Steel. I think that's why I hate it. I was about to say that it gives I, very I, much Preston, which I, that's, I, that's what kind of it. scares me about his character. Oh. <laughs> I hate it. And he's blue too. And he's right. blue. It's like. Ugh. Right, so I'm like, are you guys kind of stereotyping him? Like, I don't know, an Asian thing. Uh, no? I don't know. But moving on, I really <laughs> love Amelia's outfits. Like, they are just so cheek. They're just so journalismy. You know, they're just so ghost hunter vibe. I I love it. I love it. They're the reasonable. Did she look professional? If she needs to put on a, you know, like her journalism face. I I love it. The only thing, obviously, we all know what happened to her real hair. I just don't love the hair. I can see it. Mm. I can see the part where it's been fried. I, I oh dang! I hate it. It's bad. It's really bad. But overall, R- I love her outfits. 
one of um one of the outfits she's wearing really reminds me of something that Caitlyn would have worn on um VR Troopers. On VR Troopers, the one with the short shorts. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. Um, she has her shirt tucked in, and then she has like a like a uh I guess a, a long sleeve shirt over it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very nineties there, mm-hmm. but you know we be doing throwback style these days. You know? Right. Yeah. That's why I'm like I'm cool with her. Red, he looks like a whole dad. <laughs> I can see that. He just looks like he a does whole dress dad. like a dad. Like, and I, that I, could be purposeful because he's an alien. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's a little discriminating. Aliens <laughs> aren't real. Well, I mean they are real, but we just don't like, know. Them. But you no, basically. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh god wow. uh, yeah uh, all i said he looks like oh dad okay. he, could, he could be dressed so much better so much better i i don't know how but just not that and you know what now that like you know brenda had had a discussion well with wells while well, um offline before we did this episode with Izzy's outfit, it is sporty. I kind of see where you're coming from now. I've, I'm just not loving the hairstyle they've given her. Now that I've analyzed her outfit, it is sporty. It is cute. I'm ho- I'm here for it. I just don't love the hairstyle. The low space buns, like, what is up with that? I like I like that actually. No, I, don't I don't like the, I don't like the buns either. I I don't mind if they did the high space buns. You know what I mean? But like the low, mm. give her a whole grandma look. My, my like Princess Leia. Yes. <laughs> but right. Right. But I don't know. I, I feel like if they're going to give her like a more, you know, 20, 20, 20, 21, um, like space buns, they should give her those cute um, Higher round ones. Them. You know what I'm talking about? Like high ones that, that are mm-hmm. that, um, where your ponytails would normally position, but obviously yeah. more of a ball. That would have been cute. I'm so here. basically Usagi, Sailor Moon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. That would have been cute. I I would I would have been fine with that. Or or you know, even just her hair out would be well, no, no, she needs to look sporty. Okay, yeah. High space buns would have been fine. I would have been fine with that. And then like, well, Chance, what's his name? Uh Javier. Is it yeah, Javier? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's perfect. There's, there's nothing wrong with his outfit. He's a whole I love his outfit. So right? cool. Like, I love his outfit. I, love I was like, I dress like him all the time. <laughs> you, do, you do dress like him. You do. I dress like that all the time. <laughs> I was You're like, really oh, cute. okay, come on. Now. I know. I'm all about the leather okay. jacket. I love leather jackets. And the well. choker, the choker. That's really yeah. cool. So cute. So yeah. And like yeah. I said, the dangly earring. That's that's very something that very folks are wearing today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even Jordy Weber wears it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um uh, the gold ranger from Dying. Ninja Steel. Yeah. Ninja Steel. Right. Right. <laughs> See how badly I want to forget Ninja still existed. <laughs> well, we love Jordy though. I we do. W- well, no. unfortunately, we can't forget that Ninja still existed because we they brought on a character from Ninja Steel. What's up with these, these and Dino Fury, segues, man? Nothing but segways <laughs> this episode. Um, yes, I'm actually okay with this. Uh, Kelson is a Power Rangers legend. He's like an under, like an underappreciated Power Rangers legend. I feel like he's been truly, around truly, truly for so many years and so many seasons. And I liked Mick. So, wow, he was the what best the part about Ninja Steel. He really was. <laughs> what the hell is Mick doing here? Is the that question. is very interesting. I you know, that's one of the main questions that I have is like what significant role other than you know obviously the you know the team's tech helper guy. yeah mm-hmm. their their tech guy their helper I wonder exactly how he ended up you know getting to them and helping them um, that is actually really interesting and also too this little random dino dude that is in their base. Mm-hmm. I love that design. That design is sick. I'm like, yo, I want, I, I, I need a figure. I, I need a lightning collection figure of that creature. I want it. I want it. 
I don't know what he is. I don't know who he is. <laughs> I just want a a figure of him because I think he I think he or she is freaking awesome. Um, That'd but be yes. cool if she's a she. Actually, that would actually be really cool, right? If it's a she, that would be bomb. And also, I don't know if you guys also notice as well, but they are also wearing communicators. Oh, and we know what I feel about communicators. I can see you ordering yours right now. <laughs> okay, because I promise you, if they create one for a toy line, you know I'm going to get it. You know I'm uh-huh. going to get it. So I am excited uh-huh. for the communicators. Better come out with good Velcro. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Because I promise you, if they give us that cheap behind plastic, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. Because don't don't do this to me. I deserve. I deserve not not the, not not the toy collectors. I me. I deserve Velcro. So don't give me no uh, no piece of plastic behind uh, thing around my more around my communicator. I want Velcro. Thank you very much. But. But to be truthfully honest, the actual Dino Fury Morpher does not have um, the little plastic. It has the Velcro, which I was like, oh, look at you. Invest in. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there's other pictures of them, you know, standing around looking at things. There's Zato looking at a dog. Um, and there's also a lot of pictures of them in their base. And there's a picture of Zato having um, antenna and Antennae? Antennas? Antennae? I mean, are they antennas? Is that the plural? plural? I uh, or are they horns? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe they might not be either. Mm. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they're just a part of his head. Right. They might just be a part of his head. Or, or maybe they might can see into the future, kind of like Trip. Where, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm totally making shit up. I, don't I mean, like, it literally could be anything. On? <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, me personally, I, I just find it weird that he has those, those little horns there. They just look Why? really weird. I mean, like, he is an alien. He would have something that's different than, uh, like, he could not would, but he could. Have something that's I mean, different yes, than human. But are they like retractable? I'm assuming so, because in all the other stuff, he doesn't have them. Like that would be so funny to see him like growing them out of his forehead. And it's just mm-hmm. like, ew, don't do that no more. Look like you're getting a hard on. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. He gets turned on, and all of a sudden, those start those horns start growing out of his head. Oh my god! Can you imagine <laughs> if they actually did that? Oh wow. <laughs> That would be something else. Oh my goodness! That's hilarious. That's great. That's wonderful. I, I, we okay, Hasbro, if you're listening, please do this. Uh, <laughs> and don't forget to send us the check after. Okay, check. run us the coin, cut us the check, because we're giving y'all some fabulous ideas. But anyway, <laughs> so there's also more photos of them, obviously running into a monster of the day. You know, Kelson being, you know shocked and scared while people in the background are running around um looking kind of crazy <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are also pictures of you know what looks like um tessa or izzy being a part of like a, a little relay race or something like that mm-hmm. so you know we she, there's probably gonna be a little racing episode where you know a little character development episode for her. her um yeah good. her athletic her athletic ability being mm-hmm. shown her competitiveness and there's a yeah. there's a picture in there with um with Zato with a baseball cap on. So I'm assuming I'm assuming that's his way of hiding his his alienness. Right, right. Of course, you know more than likely they're probably gonna have him do that until he can like control it. You know, mm-hmm. be like, yeah, I, I mastered it now in like one episode. Um, but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so there's that. And then in one in one of the group of pictures, um, there is a villain lurking in the bushes, <laughs> staring like a creeper. Just staring in the bushes, just looking at him like, hmm, look at him, look at him go. 
Look at look at their sweaty bodies. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, train rangers, train. I'm sorry, that got really dark for a second. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so <laughs> now in in the Japanese version, this villain is actually called Waizu. Um, now we don't know what his name is actually in the actual show in Dino Fury, but um, he actually plays in the Japanese version a very interesting character, and he actually has a little singing part in the um in the actual season Ryu Soldier. Like he actually does an episode where he is singing, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the voice actor is a damn good singer. <laughs> which is very mm. interesting so that i hope something like that actually happens because i'm like that'd be really cool uh but yeah so he there's a little po- photo of that there's a couple photos of you know him lurking mm. and um and yeah and there's just like a whole bunch of just like photos of them you know walking through and you know looking badass and you know stuff like that so yeah now the one thing that i actually wanted to touch on when um, originally, because I mentioned, you know, that day had a whole lot of screw ups. Let me tell you what I mean. <laughs> so on that day, that was actually the first day, February 1st. What does February 1st signif- signif- blah, 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 signify? Blah. What does February 1st signify? The day Black that we lost Will has it. Yeah, and <laughs> the what first did you day say? of yeah. the day we lost Power Rangers. <laughs> oh well, wow, good point. We which did. we did. You are exactly right. You are right, right Lena. But what I was going towards was what Will but, was saying. <laughs> the first day, because you're not wrong, but what Will was saying is actually where I'm going for. The first day of Black history month now as you know as you've probably been following you probably noticed that every day we post up a specific black actor who you know brought us joy on the show and who played a specific ranger and a lot of them actually have special facts about them which a lot of people don't know um so we we tried to include that in the in the in the little captions now I wish that Power Rangers, you know, Hasbro or the people running their social media accounts actually tried as hard as we're doing. (laughs) Because apparently they didn't. Um, So I think the way it came off is it just kind of looked like, oh my God, yeah, I totally forgot that it was Black History Month, so I'm just going to just throw some stuff together. And because that's what it looked like. It looked bad. It looked bad. So basically what they did (laughs) was they posted a bunch of just pictures. They found random pictures on the internet. Now, mind you, I'm sure, you know, you guys, obviously you work for Hasbro, which has a lot of Power Rangers content. So it wouldn't, Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be off the, off the record or, or, or something hard to find good images of these actors um some of these images were uh terrible <laughs> for lack of better words. Um, wow. you know um a couple of the images obviously were terrible images where people use the face the face clearing app the face oh smoothing my. app and um, I know Nakia Baris was one of the victims. Um, Z- Zoe Robbins was one of the victims as well. Um, where, you know, the face app, you know, smoothed out their features, but it blurred everything else in the background. Mm. Now, you mean to tell me you couldn't find a better picture to use? No, of course you didn't. Because obviously you were just like, well, let's throw this crap together because you don't care about the actors. You didn't plan it. And not only did they do that, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, no, of course not. Not only did they do that, honey, they actually turned right around and they misspelled a lot of people's names, which is something that I have to get off my chest right now. Now, Power Rangers Twitter and Power Rangers Instagram. Let me, come step into my office. Let me talk to you for a second. I'm not gonna talk to you long, but let me talk to you for a second. Now, how dare you 
<laughs> now, mm. y'all should be ashamed of yourselves because my thing is this. No, my thing is this, right? I'm pretty sure in your roster, in, in your, you know, your collection of information, I'm pretty sure it is you have these actors' names there. Not only that, there's a certain thing called Google. It's called Google. If you don't know how to how to write these people's names, guess what? There's Google. You can just Google them and boom, their names are there and you can just copy and paste. Wah, wah, wah. You're good to go. I don't know why you think Nakia Burris, her name has two S's. It is not Nakia Burris. That is not her name. It is Nakia Burris. She only has one S. I, I, I was literally just like, what are you doing? They misspelled Russell's character's name, Zato. Mm. How? You created, your, your show created the name. <laughs> How do you misspell that? I was just about to say that shit. It, it's just, uh, y'all, y'all help me, help me. I, 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 I'm, I don't know. Yo, I'm looking, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking through the posts and I saw uh, Kevin Duhaney, um, Ethan, he looks horrible. Horrible with this. Horrible with this. Um, what what you call it? like an uh, a face the app? face enhancement app? Yeah, that's great. How are you? What they they just look like it, his it eyes are glowing. It does. <laughs> like it was obvious that they just found images that they were just like, oh, let's just find something on the internet and put this together. You did not even try to care. Like you like you said, there should you would you would think. That there's some sort of um, a database that Hasbro has, you know, since they have Power Rangers, since they own something. Power Rangers, where they could find some better stuff. Exactly. You mean to tell me that us, that us lowly people on social media can post better stuff than you, than yeah. you official people can? F mm -hmm. out of here. Don't do this. And then... This is the real part that gagged me. When I say gagged, I mean gagged me, gooped and gagged me. How dare they only correct Zato's name? Because <laughs> it's new and it's at the, probably at the end of the thread. That's exactly what it was. I, I guarantee <laughs> you, that's exactly what it was. They was like, so I'm not going through this thread again. So this right? is the last one. I'm just going to go ahead and correct this. Mm. I'm like, y'all got some nerve. <laughs> you got some real nerve. <laughs> oh my God. I was so gooped and gagged. I'm like, y'all, Power Rangers, y'all got to get this together. And not only did they do this once, they did this twice. They misspelled Nakia's name twice in a row. They misspelled it in 2020 and they misspelled it this year. Y'all, her name, stop it. Like, and this, and this is something that historically is an issue with just black names in general don't get don't sit here and tell me that a that a black person's name is oh quote unquote so difficult so hard to say so hard to spell when you can easily get up and, and spell a white person's name very easily especially mm -hmm. if they're not and say a white person's name very easily especially if they're not from here you will find a way to say their names correctly or spell their names correctly I promise you, you will. But the fact the, the fact of the matter is you literally will misspell or mispronounce a black person's name just like off the off the rip. Like you're not even trying to figure out how to say or pronounce their names correctly. Like, come on, don't do this. Um, so, you know, it just it just really grinded my gears like that really pissed me off. And I'm so glad that the Ranger community actually banded together in solidarity for a change and mm -hmm. actually called them out on it. Like, I mean, they ripped them a new one on Twitter and was like, don't do this. Yeah. This is um, disappointing. So yeah. This is disappointing because they're usually um, pretty entertaining on the uh, the Power Rangers socials in, in, recent, in recent years. Honestly, to be truthfully honest, what I really feel like it was, Will, I feel like what it really was, was this person, whoever is over it, just forgot. That's really what I feel like it that was. That ain't nothing to forget. 
this is not, especially when your whole platform literally just bust out during 2020 talking about we're going to recognize um, all of our black people in our, <laughs> in, in our, in our, in our, um, in Hasbro, we're going to be more inclusive and we're all about inclusivity and, you know, and diversity and all this stuff, but you can't even spell people's names correctly. You can't even find good <laughs> pictures of people. Like well, plan this shit is, out better. Plan it out. Plan it out. You knew February 1st was right around the corner. Plan it out and do better. Now, I mean, on, it does happen once a year, every Once year. a year. Uh-huh. It happens every yeah. single year. So there is no excuse. Yep. There is no excuse. No excuse. So, like, yeah. You, we, as fandom, should not exactly what we said. I mean, especially you, Brian, like, your editing skill has, like, stepped up a notch. And you're telling me that you can post better content than him? Or not him, but, like, that whole... Then the official, yeah, the official Power Rangers page that's backed I by think... Hasbro. Like, I'm shook. Like, shook. we could be doing these damn jobs. Seriously. No, so pay us. Pay okay. us. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do it, fine. Get, 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 get us. I, I will be, listen, we will be more than glad. We will be more than glad to handle this because it's, it's, it's obvious that somebody over at uh, Miss Miss uh, Miss Hasbro HQ, who's handling this uh, these pages, they they need help. So you know, we would be more than glad to step in and be like, you know, you need help. Let, let me help you. Let me help you out. Because oh, that oh. So, you know, after that little bout of inf- information happened and, you know, all that foolishness happened, fans were like, so y'all just going to drop these pictures, but wait a trailer at though. Wait a trailer. Y'all can't be doing that and y'all ain't going to give us no trailer. <laughs> so, of course, Power Rangers was like, you know, Hasbro was like, hold my beer. Let me go get that for you. <laughs> and literally, they went ahead and got us the trailer <laughs> a few days later. Now, of course, there were some things that happened in this little piece of trailer. There were some things. Piece of piece of trailer, yeah. This, this little piece of trailer, you know, this little piece of trailer. I, I, I know there's somebody on this panel who does not like the trailer, but, you know. Um, uh-huh, we know. Well, let's go ahead and mm-hmm, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about this little piece of trailer. So, you know, <sighs> y'all. <laughs> One of the highlights of this trailer, people really are like going in on, is the cockpit. Mm-hmm. Now, is it really as bad as they say the uh, as they say it is? Yeah, let, let me have it. What, what do you think? <sighs> I mean, for me, I don't think, I don't think so, but it's just, it's same old, same old. We've had the same, uh, it seems like it might be the same set piece, or at least it's it's built the same, Um, them standing in this, uh, I don't want to say like a void, but just standing in this space, um, and then they have some sort of uh, like a podium in front of them. For controls and it's just like it it's we've seen this basically since samurai and you can't give us anything else right so like um I, I miss seeing them sitting down when the controls or um i guess last year last year they had them in different um in their individual cockpits mm-hmm. but like i, I um they could have done that again they could have be sitting down i miss that you know just do something else I feel you. I feel you. Let me know what you think, girl. I, okay. I did feel that the cockpit was a little empty, Mm -hmm. but aesthetically wise, I thought it was nice. Like, it was clean. It got to the point. However, I do wish the whole, you know, um, having controllers and having, like, just like panels and stuff, right? But you know what? Okay. It's okay. I'd rather you not spend all that money in the cockpit if we're not going to be there long. True. So I'm fine with it. You know what I mean? Like it was just clean. Like it looks nice. It looks modern. Like it's up to date. And I feel like nowadays we're all about less. You know, we're all about 
what can we do to reduce our life to make it better, to make it easier, to make mm-hmm. it simpler, right? Like how we have like our cell phones now, where we do practically everything on it. Like take a picture, serve the web, send an email. So with this, you know, with it being 2021, I don't see anything wrong with the cockpit being as empty and dumb standing. Like I don't see anything wrong with that personally, you know. And most of the time, the fight scenes always like what five less than five minutes long they're in the they're in the zor for like 2.5 seconds mm-hmm. they you know they limited their their enemy and that's it we're out of there right so really i'm fine with it where it's different where before in the past where we i felt like we spent a lot more time in the cockpit pot cockpit so having all that was nice was great you know like um astro megasaur i remember with the all the button that was really cool and I do also remember though, how did they get in and out? Because it was so cluster. That was another thing I always wonder. But hey, yeah, that's my thought on it. You like I, I actually kind of agree with you, Lena. Like my thing is, and this is the reason why I, I don't really mind it. I mean, I know a lot of people were. I was looking on Twitter, and a lot of people were were dragging it because it was like, oh, it's very reminiscent, or not even reminiscent. It's just a copycat of Samurai, Dino Charge, and um, and Ninja Steel. Um, I can see where they're coming from with it. Aesthetically, it does feel the same. It doesn't feel like there's anything new. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually disagree with them and actually say that I actually prefer this version. Um, and the reason why I prefer this version of it now, granted, I don't like that it, it, that it, we're back in another, you know, gray steel looking, you know, Mm -hmm. cockpit, don't like that, but I'm sorry. If you've seen the Ryu Soldier version, Ryu Soldier version is lifeless and dead. Like it's literally, it, there's nothing going <laughs> lifeless on. Lifeless like, and dead. <laughs> like to, to me, and like there's some fans who are living for it. Like they love the Ryu Soldier cockpit. I think it's trash. I think it's terrible. Um, really? To be truthfully honest with you, I don't think it's good. Um, I, you know, it to me there because what it really is is they're standing basically. They're standing on a platform, kind of sort of similar to what is given with Dino Charge, not Dino Charge, Dino Fury, um, kind of what is given with mm. that. They're standing on the platform, but they're surrounded by like mirrors. This, I'm looking at it now. This is reminding me of um, of Lost Galaxy's cockpits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But only Lost it's Galaxy really kind of had like a partition. Similar. Yeah, Lost Galaxy kind of had like a little partition feel. And instead, like, Ryu Soldier is giving like mirrors where they're like reflecting all over the place. That actually looks kind of cool to me. I don't like it's it. Different. I mean, it's different, but I mean that. I don't like no. it. I mean, it just it just looks. It just it, I don't know. It looks dumb to me. Like I don't. I don't know. Like I'm just. I'm not a fan. I'm really not. I'm not a fan of the cockpits. I, I was just like, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? And I mean, and I guess the reason why I'm certainly not, I'm not a fan of it is because there's one instance where they all get into the Zord all at the same time. Mm-hmm. And they're, they look, it looks like a gigantic sausage fest because literally it's like mm-hmm. all these guys and one girl, like six people That's is packed in this one fest. small. That's something out. That's something I'm, out. Well, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know what that is, but uh, I mean, you know that can turn this podcast into a whole different conversation. But you know, it's it's just weird that they literally packed all these people in this small space with me, and behind. you know, and there and and people are complaining talking about <laughs> oh they're all sandwiched in. If you looked at that one clip or that one picture. I promise you, the Power Rangers Dino Fury group has a lot more space than mm-hmm. the Ryu Soldiers would. Mm-hmm. If they, if everybody was to jump into that that cockpit together, they would have a lot more space than the Ryu Soldiers. That's why I'm like, I, I see where y'all coming from. Y'all being like, oh, they're so packed. They seem like they're so close together. I know where you're coming from, but I'm sorry, I have to disagree. Like, it's a no for me. It's a no. Like I, I'm kind of glad that he actually did that. I'm actually very glad they did that. Um, the one thing that I will say though, which I will agree with, is and I and I did see this quite a quite a bit too, is that some of the people were actually saying 
they may or may they were questioning they were that they were may or may not you know get armored forms in the megazords i personally don't think they will i don't think they'll get armored forms um i hope they don't anyway god pretty god it's necessary don't. it's very unnecessary i hope they don't but if they do i mean it'll just be another armored version of the armor that they're going to use anyway so i mean i really personally don't feel like they actually need it since they have so many armored forms anyway that the actual sentai is going to give them so it really doesn't make sense to give them an armored form that they're only going to use exclusively in the zords like it just doesn't make sense to me um but you know yeah, powering does stuff that doesn't make sense, sense all the time so mm-hmm. yeah they do stuff that doesn't make sense all the time so um but yeah so that was that about um the zord uh, the zord stuff um mm-hmm. anything else popped out in the trailer that you know got your attention i think for, for me there was um we say this all the time power rangers is a toy commercial and that's basically what i got from this there was nothing as far as giving us an idea on what the plot of the season would be or <laughs> what any of the <laughs> characters are like. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it just, it, it felt cheap. It looked cheap. Um, I, yo, like, I feel like, I feel like somebody in high school, a high school sophomore could have came up with something better than this. Damn. I just I I I really was underwhelmed because it's 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 more of the same. It's more of the same. Really weak, low energy um, little trailers that they throw together either before they start filming the season, and they'll just have the Sentai footage, or after they start filming, and they'll have um, you know like it's, it's reminding me of the stuff that we got for. I'm thinking in particular like season two of Beast Morphers. I'm thinking about season two of um, Ninja Steel. Uh, it just, I just, ugh. it could be better. And I feel like if you, if you want your property property to be taken seriously, you could put more effort into it. But Agreed. you know they're they still making their money, so I guess they don't care. <laughs> so oh and something else something that definitely popped out was I, I either at the very end or near the end we got to see the gold ranger yeah which i don't know if that was intentional or not but i mean we're right. just gonna go with it right because like once again i'm feeling like that is like a lot of us obviously know that there's a gold ranger coming but there may be some people that don't know. And then you just, even though it was like for a split second, it's still kind of kind of sloppy to have that in there because that should be a big deal when he comes, you know? Right. So it's it's like, did you guys just slip that in there purposefully? Was it an accident? If it was an accident, how the hell could you do that? You know? Yeah. I mean- Maybe out there for not mis- uh, spelling people's names, so I don't know. I know. You know, so <laughs> it's not a surprise. <laughs> I just say the prize even caught that. I didn't even see that. But to piggyback off you, I do agree with what you're saying, but I thought it was like a really nice. I felt like the graphic was a little bit more high tech this time around. Like at least that's what I felt. And but you're right though, it didn't really give a lot. Which I'm like, whatever. You know what? It's Power Rangers. Like, what do we expect? But like, it's not going to give us no storyline. Like, it never did. Other than, you know, like, when an alien evil group invaded Earth. And oh, I hate that. heroes will come up and I don't even know yeah. how the fuck Yeah, because, like, yeah, because I feel like even with, um, even in situations where they do give you a little bit of the story, it's just, like, the tone is so light. I just, ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> I just I, um, I know I, I, I know it could be better. You. I definitely feel you. I, I feel you. I feel you one hundred percent. I mean, like tonally, yes, it was a little. It, it felt a little. Un, it felt not even a little. It did feel underwhelming. It did. It really. Did. Um. Now I will say this though. One of the things that really did get me excited for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Was the now. <laughs> If y'all been listening, and I and I and I say this with you know Will and Lean all the, all the team, <laughs> the special effects in this show they got to be on point. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to have good special effects. I'm sorry. I ax- I actually like the colored smoke. I actually mm-hmm. like the colored smoke booming effect. I actually did. I was like, this looks a lot better than the cartoony explosions that we normally would get <laughs> for the past 10 years. That smoke, at the little colored smoke explosion actually looked like a decent effect. Like, it didn't look too cartoony. It didn't look too crazy i'm thinking that they can't use pyrotechnics in new zealand anymore for power rangers i really think that that's what it is because you know i i I think that's what it is honestly i I really do i don't think that they can actually use big explosions like they used to anymore i don't think they can i really don't i don't think they can now i could be wrong i could be wrong or you know maybe that's just a, 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 a some some an, an expense that they don't want to pay for. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but I don't think they actually can use this stuff anymore because if they could, why aren't they doing it? You see what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's something like, well, you know, we've been we've been doing this since Ninja Steel, since Ninja Storm. Like we've been using you know explosions all the time. So why can't we just, why can't we use them now? This why we got to keep using these, you know? This is reminding me of the fact that they don't do the um, the chest sparks anymore. They don't. They don't even they use just, them. Yeah. yeah they they don't. just have it as, um, you know, they animate it in there. Mm-hmm. They use the CGI. Yeah. Which, I mean, even that looks a little bit different. When she, um, we got a little piece of it with um, old girl, was doing her little back bend and spin with the sword, which I thought that was that looking cool. pretty good. Right. I was like, oh, okay, come on, choreography. You know, <laughs> Pink Ranger was giving us a little piece. And, you know, they gave some, you know, some special effects with that. And I was like, those actually look pretty good. Like, those effects actually look good. So I was like, okay, so we might get some some better effects this season. I, I that's, the way, that's what it's given. It looks like we might get better effects. Um... And, you know, also, too, you know, I do kind of also see some improvement with, you know, the morphing. Because even the little, um, the little hand movements with following with the, um, with the colored energy or whatever, when the Rangers was doing that little morphing thingy, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> that I thought was pretty cool. I was like, okay, this is giving very much, very, very much shift in the turbo. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, like I'm feeling this a little bit. Like, okay, I, I see you. I see you, Power Rangers. Y'all trying. You're trying. And that's what I can appreciate. You're trying. This actually wasn't too bad. I, I, I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, of course, you got your, you know, your weird little stuff. But one thing I will say, though, <laughs> I, I, did crack, I did crack up. I'm not going to lie to you. And I posted it on our Twitter. I cracked up on the scene where the green dude was running and the red ranger slashed him and he exploded. That crap was funny. I'm not going to lie to you. I cackled. <laughs> I cackled on that part. I was like, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I literally ignorantly <laughs> laughed. I'm not going to lie to you. I ignorantly laughed. Other than the violent slashing of the little green dude, I didn't really care too much for about for this trailer. I just thought it was a basic trailer. Um, which the show it will be coming out February 20th on, on Nick at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, if you are on the Eastern Standard Time area, then that's when the show will premiere. Now, I'm pretty sure this is business as usual. So for us West Coasters, do not worry. It is still coming on for us at 8 a.m. It's not coming on for us at 5. Stop playing. Like, <laughs> so many people were acting crazy. Like, oh my God, is it going to premiere for us the same? No, it's not. It's going to be at 8 a.m. on your time. <laughs> so just because they said 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that doesn't mean it's going to be 5 a.m. for you or 6 a.m. for you. It doesn't mean that. It's just going to be 8 a.m. <laughs> okay, okay. Lastly, on the list, is there's some names that were dropped. Now, I don't know how true these names are. Um, apparently, these names are, um, these names are specific. They, they come from Ranger Board. So, you know, bear with me. 
Now, they've already pretty much named the weapons. So apparently the mm-hmm. dino dagger that the Black Ranger is holding is an actual real weapon. Mm-hmm. And it we is actually called the, the dino dagger. <laughs> That's simple. Wow, so original. So original, right? Now, I will say the actual weapons that they're using is actually very original. Are y'all ready? Yes, yes, yeah. tell us. They are called Chroma Fury Sabers. Can somebody bring out the chrome Oreos for Lady Gaga right now? <laughs> that is the first thing that I saw. And I and I thought I about it. I was too. like, are y'all really trying to jump on this chrome thing with Lady Gaga? Like, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Y'all, I was cackling. I'm like, yo, Power Rangers, y'all wildin'. You wildin'. But yeah, so what do you guys think about these little names? Like, I mean, we already got Lena's, you know, reaction to Dino Dagger. Yeah. But <laughs> what, are y'all, well, what are y'all thinking? Well, Trini's Dino Daggers are finally canon. Well, I guess. <gasps> right. Yeah, in a in a sense, um, I don't know. Like, it's it's all it's okay. They don't they don't really bother me. Like, I think it's more so what they'll be able to do, how they're used. I don't really care about the names, really. I like Chroma Fury Saber. I like it. I like it, too. Like, I, I actually like it because, honestly, it's very unique. It's a very unique name, I think. I think it's very unique. I'm like, that is actually kind of cool. Chroma Fury, like, that's actually kind of dope. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I do like it. So I'm 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 looking forward to seeing what they give us <laughs> this year. Mm. Yeah, and, and like we got um about two weeks. So yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what we're gonna get. This has been another episode of Tribunal of the Grid. You like we said from the beginning of the episode, please follow us on now apple podcast yeah and yes you know continue to like subscribe tell your friends tell your family tell everybody we are all over the place please 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 and, and my name five star rating give us yes. a five star rating please. five star leave five a star. review not four five not four five because you know we you know we don't we don't we're, we're not five star we're not four star people okay Nope. Remember that when you, when you, when you, when you're when you're rating us, remember we are not four star people. We're not three star. We're not two. We're not one. We are five. Okay. And don't try we're to be funny. Don't try to be funny. Give us three because there's three of us. No. Right. Because some people, somebody will do that and be like, <laughs> no. right? No. That's we're not. not we're not. We're not gonna laugh at that. We're, we're no. not. So <laughs> we're the only ones who are allowed to be funny here. Um, <laughs> I, I am your host, Brandon. I am Lena. And I will. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.